At the time of the Prophet Sallallahu the only people surrounding him were people of either, you know, idol worshipping people, atheists, Christians and Jews. The Christians and Jews were the more knowledgeable people. The idol worshippers were not an intellectual people, they were Bedouins in the Arab society. Even the Christians and the Jews at the time believed that the earth was the center of the universe. Okay? And this ayah comes down and says, this is Surah Yasin, Surah number 36, لَشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِيَ لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرِ وَلَلَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارِ And then this part, وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ In the beginning of the ayah, he's talking about the moon and the sun keeping their order, not coming out of their orbits, and then he talks about night and day not transgressing. When it's time for night, it's night. When it's time for day, it's day, and they don't transgress each other. They keep their limits. So far, he's talking about the sun and the moon and the earth and time, right? But then he says, وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ And all of them are floating in their own orbits. Falak means orbit. يَسْبَحُونَ To swim or to float. So all of them in their own orbits, they are floating. Now at the time, one belief was, the closer to scientific belief was, the sun is at the center of the universe. And yet Allah is going a step further at this time, 1500 years ago, and what's He saying? The earth has an orbit, the moon has an orbit, and the sun has an orbit. For a long time, European philosophers and scientists believed that the earth stood still in the center of the universe and every other body, including the sun, moved around it. In the West, this geocentric concept of the universe was prevalent right from the time of Ptolemy in the 2nd century BC. In 1512, Nicholas Copernicus put forward his heliocentric theory of planetary motion, which asserted that the sun is motionless at the center of the solar system with the planets revolving around it. In 1609, the German scientist Johannes Kepler published the Astronomia Nova. In this piece, he concluded that not only do the planets move in elliptical orbits around the sun, they also rotate upon their axes at irregular speeds. With this knowledge, it became possible for European scientists to explain correctly many of the mechanisms of the solar system, including the sequence of night and day. After these discoveries, it was thought that the sun was stationary and did not rotate about its axis like the Earth. I remember having studied this fallacy from geography books during my school days. Consider the following Quranic verse. It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. All the celestial bodies swim along, each in its rounded course. Al Quran 21:33. The Arabic word used in the above verse is yasbahun. The word yasbahun is derived from the word sabaha. It carries with it the idea of motion that comes from any moving body. If you use the word for a man on the ground, it would not mean that he is rolling, but would mean he is walking or running. If you use the word for a man in water, it would not mean that he is floating, but would mean that he is swimming. Similarly, if you use the word yasbah for a celestial body such as the sun, it would not mean that it is only flying through space, but would rather mean that it is also rotating as it goes through space. Most of the school textbooks have incorporated the fact that the sun rotates about its axis. The rotation of the sun about its own axis can be proved with the help of an equipment that projects the image of the sun on the tabletop so that one can examine the image of the sun without being blinded. It is noticed that the sun has spots which complete a circular motion once every 25 days, i.e. the sun takes approximately 25 days to rotate around its axis. In fact, the sun travels through space at roughly 150 miles per second and takes about 200 million years to complete one revolution around the center of our Milky Way galaxy. It is not permitted to the sun to catch up to the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. Each just swims along in its own orbit, according to law. Al-Quran 3640 the above verse mentions an essential fact discovered by modern astronomy, i.e. the existence of the individual orbits of the sun and the moon and their journey through space with their own motion. The fixed place towards which the sun travels, carrying with it the solar system, has been located exactly by modern astronomy. It has been given a name, the solar apex. The solar system is indeed moving in space towards a point situated in the constellation of Hercules, the Alpha Layer, whose exact location is firmly established. The moon rotates around its axis in the same duration that it takes to revolve around the Earth. It takes approximately 29 and a half days to complete one rotation. 
one cannot help but be amazed at the scientific accuracy of a brand.